That's about as bad a round as I've ever seen Winky experience. And he holds up his hands to the crowd as if to say, I'm the champ. With all of those swollen the tissue and stuff starting to bust loose now. You fight a damn good fight. Just keep pushing the left shoulder when you get inside, okay? Push it back. Damn good fight. And he's starting to bust up a little bit now. And you do it good. You let him shoot all of those flurries when they get through. Yeah, come on. Come on, champ. Come on, breathing. Come on, champ. Come on, man. Look at this kid. You got him backing up. He's scoring three to one on this guy. With the last 30 seconds, you got to go to work. Yeah, that's what. That's all. He's trying to steal these rounds from you, man. All right. Don't let him outbox him, and you got to work them 30 seconds. When you hear Round five. Stay in your corner. Round five. Copy box numbers in four. Taylor 16 out of 77. Wright 21 out of 70. Wright has out outlanded Taylor all four rounds, but Taylor is landing the harder shots. That might have been expected. On Harold Letterman's card so far, the fight is even. Wright's trainer Dan Birmingham is on record as saying that for Taylor to win is simply outside the realm of reality. I'm not sure that Winky feels that Taylor is that bad a fighter. There's a hard right hand by Taylor. You know, people in the boxing world tend to look at fighters and see their mistakes and what they don't do right instead of, in a case of a young, hungry, athletic kid like Taylor, what he does right to overcome those mistakes. Harry, I remember something you said about a young heavyweight named Lennox Lewis a long time ago. Sure, he's got kinks in his armor, but look at all that armor. <laughs> Taylor backs right off again with a power punch after Winky flurried in the corner. This has become a pattern throughout the fight. Wright lets his hands go, backs Taylor into the corner again. Jermaine bangs away with one big shot trying to get out of there. Off his head, off his head. Lennox, do you think Taylor's punches are beginning to take their toll on Wright? Emmanuel Stewart is hoping for that. Well, he's doing the right thing. What, you know, he's coming in with the power punches. Later on, they will be effective because uh, Winky Wright's going to have problems keeping up his hands. But, you know, he's doing the right thing right now. Wright landed a straight shot upstairs and a body shot. Taylor lands a good right cross on the chops of Wright. Wright feels a need to come back and land a combination. Winks at Jim Lampley as he looks over the shoulder of Jermaine Taylor. It's a Floyd Mayweather move communicating with the announcers during the fight. Taylor content to bang away against Wright's guard. Taylor actually blocked the right shot there, but now he takes four or five punches in a row. Has to let his hands go. To try to move right back. And Wright punches Taylor into a corner. He lands with accuracy and regularity and makes Jermaine look bad. When they're in the center of the ring, Jermaine gets his offense going. See, you see when you're in that position, Jermaine Taylor should definitely put up his hands because he has no place to back up to right now. So that's what, he's really in a dangerous position right now, especially with his hands down in the corner. Another technician's round, or so it appeared. Wait, it's perfect. Sour perfect. Five minutes. You're row, row, go to work. Just Keep like that out quick. Keep doing what you're doing. Now the fight starts, nice champ. Nice now work, do baby. what you want to do to him. Nice work, champ. Beautiful. Then the little rolling right hand as soon as he starts to jab. Okay? What about him coming up? Six round all yeah. We're down on points. We're down on points, we know that, okay? So mainly when you're back back in the point. When Jermaine's against the ropes, this is when Wink is taking advantage of him. Like I said, he has no place to back up to and hands low and he's gonna get hit. This is where you have to keep your hands up and definitely get out of the corner. Why wouldn't he have learned that yet at this stage of his career? 
or at this stage of the fight? I, I don't know. I think he feel, still feels comfortable. He feels he's not getting hurt. But he needs, he needs to get it going. 30 connects for round five for Winky Wright, his high total for the fight, landing 30 out of 60 for 50%. In other words, that was a paint job in that round. Still, Taylor got in 15 power shots. That's part of what he wants to do. Body shot by Taylor. In the center of the ring, it's one fight. Against the ropes, it's a different one. You heard Emmanuel Stewart tell Jermaine Taylor, you're behind on points. He didn't seem concerned about it. They believe they're going to wear Winky right down. Two body shots by Taylor. Wright hasn't thrown much here in the sixth after having a big round in the fifth. After his last fight against the gnat-like puncher Sam Solomon from Australia, Wright's face showed the effects. Taylor's a heavier puncher than Solomon by a wide margin. Wright's face is again beginning to show the effects. Taylor has the kind of skin that won't easily reveal damage, similar to a Bernard Hopkins in that regard. Right hand landed for Taylor after two shots landed for Wright. Again, center of the ring. Jermaine Taylor can fight him here and do pretty well. Winky Wright definitely knows his distance, how to keep his distance, and when to throw punches inside the distance. Taylor got in a combination that backed right up. Now Wright crafts him into the corner again, but Taylor gets away. Taylor has landed some clean punches on Winky, and Winky keeps coming. They're basically alternating rounds, though, because just as clearly as the last round belonged to Wright, this round belongs to Taylor, who isn't throwing much and is taking shots in the center of the ring. Boom! Big right hand for Taylor. Wright feels a need to fight back, lands two shots in return, but that was the biggest punch Jermaine has landed in the fight. If Wright will try to rally down the stretch of the round, Dan Birmingham told him that he thought Taylor was trying to steal rounds on him. Off his head, step back, off his head. And now Taylor fights his way effectively out of the corner as he bangs Wright with a left hook and a right cross before Winky can get anything done. It hasn't been a clinch. It's been a brilliant fight so far. Pace that he used to go on there too. Now he's not used to going at this damn pace here. But you're in damn good shape. Yes, sir. So all right, let's let that damn right hand go lead it sometime through the summer. Beautiful fight. Okay, let's go. Well, after the round six comeback for Taylor, Emmanuel Stewart is happy with the way the fight is going. The second half of the fight begins. You heard Emmanuel talking about the fast pace after I had already lauded both fighters for it. Harold Letterman, how do you have it so far? You know, Jim, after a great sixth round by Jermaine Taylor and a real good fifth round by Winky Wright, I got it all even. 57, 57, three rounds apiece. No question, the good conditioning of Jermaine Taylor may take over this. And the punching power. And he has hurt Wright badly with a right hand in this round. Now Winky lets his hands go again. For a moment there, he was a sitting duck for Taylor's power, and Jermaine took advantage. Winky's a tough, tough guy. And he knows when he needs to show that toughness, too. He knows exactly the moments when he has to fight back to allow for psychological get back. And he's doing the right thing, too. He's staying close to Jermaine Taylor, which is the right thing to do. 
at, because he's a better inside fighter right now than Jermaine Taylor. He doesn't want to get hit by his power punches from a distance. He's better to get hit by his power punches from in close. But Taylor's greater strength seems to be becoming a factor in the fight. His body shots move right. His right hand upstairs, when he lands it, stops right in his tracks. Winky, on the other hand, far better when he can get Taylor to the ropes and in the corner where he is right now. Right going, or Taylor going back to that right hand. Vicious body shot. Wright comes back with three of his own. The impact of Taylor's shot could be heard around the, rea the arena. And now Wright gets him into the corner and begins to bully him again. Winky Wright's experience factor really shows here. If you look at his feet, he's very balanced compared to Jermaine Taylor. Jermaine's feet are all over the place. Does have a balance problem. Once he gets that sorted, he'll be a better fighter. What has Dan Birmingham said of Jermaine Taylor? Look, he's an amateur. He's got his feet too wide apart. He's got his chin hanging out over his front foot. He's got his hands down too low. All that's true. He's also 25 and 0 with 17 knockouts. And giving Winky Wright all he's ever, all he can handle. By CompuBox count, Jermaine Taylor has already been hit with more punches in this fight than in any other fight of his career, including two 12-round routes with Bernard Hopkins. In other words, having gone the distance in eight fights, he's never taken as many punches as he's taken in less than seven rounds from Winky Wright. But he's banging right with his right hand and moving him back when he does. This was another big round for Jermaine Taylor's power shots. When Winky and, and Jermaine Taylor punch off, all of a sudden, Jermaine Taylor has more power in his punches. Just keep drilling them hard shots with just the way you're doing them. You understand? Yes, sir. Keep drilling them hard. I believe he's going to start falling apart in the next couple of rounds. He's going to have some great rounds, but you still look strong and you're hitting him good. But I'd like for you to get close and shoot that right hand lead through the center, yes, not sir. the one-two. Get close and drive it right through the center. Strong jab, more left hands. Eight round, work five harder, more to go. got to work harder. Work hard. You're breaking him down. You're getting him tired, but he's still strong. That's keep the pressure on him. Yeah, this is a situation where, you know, they're trading punches. Jermaine throws a great three-punch combination, and the power is definitely apparent. According to both corners, we have uh, two fighters who are being...